What's going on guys, it's Rob, and it's actually a decent time tonight, 8.30. I felt like doing a commentary, I'm going to stop being lazy and I'm going to get to it. So what I'm going to be talking about today, I'm actually not watching any gameplay at the moment. I'm just talking to you guys because I have some stuff on my mind and it's bugging me, it is bugging me. So, for a while now I've been wanting to get off of Call of Duty, you know, there's so many other games out, but for some reason keep going back to it it's so freaking addicting and I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 and I've been watching a lot of videos about people posting that they hate black ops now and it's so boring and all this stuff and to me you know maybe they're not bored of black ops in general I think they're bored of the Call of Duty series in general you know, everyone's starting to say, oh, Black Ops is so boring, and they're trying to go back to, like, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2. But when you think about it, I don't think that's true at all. I think it's just because they're burnt out on Call of Duty in general, but they're making an excuse that that's the reason why they dislike Black Ops. See, I love Black Ops. I love Black Ops. At the beginning, I was kind of iffy about it. I didn't know what to think yet. But after playing it, it is the most balanced game by far. By far, and that's what you want, right? So, there's some people complaining about certain things, but to me, you know, I think it's just a bunch of uh, people trying to make up an excuse to hate the game. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to let you know what I really like about the game, and what I dislike about the game, and there's not much to dislike about this game, Black Ops, and what I really hated about Modern Warfare 2. So, uh... I'm going to actually read something I posted on USAC Gaming Forums, and uh, I'll let you guys see how I really feel about the game. So I'm, I'm just going to read it because I really don't feel like, you know, talking, talking about it in depth right now. So, let's see what we got going here. This is what I posted. Believe it or not, this is my favorite Call of Duty out of the series. My likes for it. Gun selection. I use more guns in this game than I do in all the other Call of Duties combined. I use more guns in this game than I did in all the other Call of Duties combined. The balance and range of all the weapons are perfect. I don't even care what you say about the 74U. The range and everything, the balance, the 74U has a lot of recoil. Not a lot of people know that or think about that. The, the 74U has a lot of recoil. And um, there's a lot of other S uh, submachine guns that I'd rather use than the a AK-74U. I've used the hell out of that gun, but I've used all the other SMGs even more than that. So I think I know what I'm talking about. The map selection in, in Black Ops. You know, the maps in this game are a lot better better than all the linear maps in all the other Call of Duty. In, in all, basically all the other Call of Duty's, except World at War. You know what? It's Treyarch. You know, the maps that they had in uh, in World at War were awesome. I loved them all. I loved all the maps in World at War. Um, you know, there, in, in Black Ops, there's multiple ways to get in and out of the buildings to avoid strategically placed claymores. And there's no camping place an RPG can't handle. And that's that's why I like the maps. You know, in, in Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2, they're so linear. There's three directions you can go. You can go straight, you can go left, or you can go right. And basically, you got people sitting at each one of those choke points with new tubes. Or you got the people camping in the buildings with their claymores. And oh, they have Scavenger Pro, so hey, they're just going to get more claymores and keep putting them down. Come on. Are you serious? Scavenger with claymores? Do you guys remember that in Modern Warfare 2? People, you're talking about, you know, ghost people camping in corners. Yeah, how about people camping in a, in a room with... Unlimited claymores. Seriously, oh my gosh, I just bring that brings back the memories right there. You know, I just thought about that. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep going for Black Ops. What I like, I like the player movement. You know, even though people say uh, Black Ops feels a lot slower because of campers and ghosts, you know, I feel that the way you move throughout the maps is faster than all the other Call of Duties. And the addition into dolphin diving, come on, who doesn't like dolphin diving, you know? Even though it doesn't get you out of those situations where you are behind a corner and you're still getting shot, you know, that's that's something I dislike about the game. But I think that's a great addition and uh, I love it. 
and actually you know and I lo also love the dual mag attachment it gives you extra ammo so I don't have to run scavenger and you know the dual mag attachment with slide of hand pro is freaking unbelievable you, it practically gets rid of reloading in general and I just security. love the flow of black ops so and come on the customization in this game, the emblem editor. What what other Call of Duty had that? The emblem editor. You know, I sometimes catch myself editing my emblem, actually more than playing the game. Even though that, you and my commentary. You guys want to say hi to Tina? Say hello, Tina. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm I have a commentary, but you're on camera though. <laughs> so, uh, what do you like about Call of Duty Black Ops? Did you know that I was on camera right now, or did you think I was just talking on the computer? You didn't know, but you got you! I got you! So she said she never wanted to be on camera, but you know what? I got her, she, because I have, I'm have. i reading this in front of me. Well, anyways, another thing I really like about this game, combat records and lobby leaderboards. You know, in all the past Call of Duties, you hear people talking crap on how good they are, and their KD is so high, but you can never really tell. So... Half the time, I just go, okay, you know, let's go into, a, let's go 1v1, 1v1 me, whatever. Well, now I can just go into their combat record, see what uh, cheesy guns they use, and all their high kill streaks and everything they do, and I'll see AK-74U and FAMAS, and yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Too. <laughs> so now I can just go in there, and, and I can see their score per minute. I was like, if they don't have a higher score per minute, they're not doing something right. You know, if I have a higher score per minute, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prevail. So, score per minute over KD any day of the week. I don't care if your KD is 4.0. If your score per minute is lower than mine, I'm going to whoop your ass. I can't curse. Crap. I can't curse, but I'm cursed. I would love it. Heart of Palm. You guys ever have Hearts of Palm? Oh my gosh, they are delicious. Could I have a napkin, please? This might be a two-part video because it's going to be... I'm just going to enjoy this Heart of Palm at the moment. This is excellent. I'm gonna take a little a little second break to eat this heart of palm. I'll keep going. Mmm, that's very good. Dislikes I have about this game. There's no unlocks for attachment and cameras. Basically buy everything. You get a gun, you unlock a gun, you can buy all the attachments right then and there if you have the cash. I like working for my for my, for my stuff. Yeah, Tina says, later.